Have you ever been editing a video and it feels frustrating? Like the entire interface is just set up in a way that doesn't work for you? Well, now you can edit video in Premiere Pro like it's a text document. This is wild. Adobe's introduced text-based editing into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna walk you through how to use it. It's way easier than you think. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know that as of recording this video, it's still in Premiere's beta program, which you do have access to by going to your Creative Cloud, the beta section, and download Premiere Pro's beta version. But if you just wanted to know when it officially launches on Premiere Standard Version, then the top pinned comment of this video is going to be updated as soon as that happens, so feel free to scroll down and check that out. But let's get right into it. Text-based editing literally allows Premiere to write out the words of what you're saying on screen and then cut based on the text instead of the video. Now there's obvious ways to use this, but I'll also be going over some of the ways that you probably didn't know that you can use this and there's some pretty cool ideas. But let's go over the basics first. The first thing is actually before you even open up your project, go up to your preferences. On a Mac, it's under Premiere Pro Preferences and on a PC, it's under Edit Preferences. And here, select Transcription from the very bottom. And now you can click this checkbox to select automatic transcription. Now, whenever you import footage into Premiere, Premiere will automatically run through this transcription process in the background. Total game changer. Now let's open up a project and see how we can work with it. First thing you wanna do is go to the workspace section for your captions by going up to window, workspaces, captions and graphics, or there's also a menu located here that's slightly easier access. Now you can see that you have an entire large section for a wall of text that you can start working with. And my audio is actually already transcribed because we selected automatic transcriptions before I started working on this project. And if you're halfway through a project, you can create new transcriptions by selecting create transcription and allowing it the time to just work through your project. Now that we have our transcriptions open and able to work with, we can just start highlighting text. And you can see that when we do, that section of our project highlights the video as well. So if I highlight this section here, we can see that the section of video sounds like this. I'm gonna show you the easiest method by far to getting exactly what you're looking for. Perfect, that's exactly what we selected. And now I can do things like hit backspace and delete it. Simple as that. But there's other ways that you can work with text-based editing and some of them are pretty handy. Maybe you've been working with a large batch of footage for things like documentaries or weddings or interviews. You can really easily end up with a sequence that's more than an hour in length. But if you wanted to search through all of that for a particular moment, it can be really frustrating. So just pick a keyword or phrase that you know is being used and type it into the search bar. Then you can navigate through any time that was said. You can also do kind of the opposite. Say that you have an interview for a business with a new product and some secret information wasn't supposed to be released, or maybe someone just used a naughty word. You can search for that and then remove it by highlighting it and deleting it. Boom. Now no one's getting canceled. But you can delete things that are more common too, like big gaps and pauses. Go down to the three dots here and click to toggle on display pauses. And now if you hover over these triple dots, you're told how long that pause is for. Highlight it and then delete it to delete the empty space. Mind blown. I actually use this now for literally every single video. So many of these videos have a base layer of just me talking, but most of that is just botched takes and pauses. So now what I do is I just delete all of the empty pauses and gaps, and then look for the phrases that I repeated a bunch of times in a row, and then delete all of them except for the last one. Because my last take is always my best one, like 99% of the time. And because I film everything chronologically, I can get through like 80% of my editing structure using text-based editing alone. That's that's kind of insane. But if you did need to rearrange sections, you can actually cut and paste them from one section to another. Highlight a section, right click, and you can cut slash extract. Then move to the section where you wanna paste it in, and boom, it's there. Honestly, I was a little bit skeptical at first, but if this is the beta and it's this good, I'm stoked for what we're gonna have in just a couple of months from now. But to help you out even more, let me give you my personal favorite keyboard shortcuts that I think are most effective to work with text-based editing. You can move word by word by just clicking left and right. Super helpful to get super specific. And if you wanted to jump all the way to the beginning of a section, if you have a full-sized keyboard, you can hit home. And likewise, you can go to the end of a section by hitting end. But what makes this super helpful is that if you move around word by word with the arrow keys, once you find a word that you don't want to include, you can hold shift and hit end to highlight that word 
and everything else all the way to the end of the section, and hit backspace to get rid of an entire section that quickly. Same thing for shift home to select everything from that word all the way back to the beginning of your section. Sort of like the Q and W ripple delete shortcuts. And if you guys like this video, you'll love how you can get Premiere to use your already generated transcription to create animated subtitles with almost no extra work. I'll see you over there.